Well, hi there, Internet. My name's Court, and you've got courtside seats for my review of The Mule. Let's do it. The Mule is a crime drama film from director Clint Eastwood and Warner Brothers Pictures. The movie stars Clint Eastwood, Bradley Cooper, Taysa Farmiga, Michael Pena, Andy Garcia, Lawrence Fishburne, Diane Wiest, and Clifton Collins Jr. A 90-year-old horticulturist and World War II veteran is caught transporting $3 million worth of cocaine through Michigan for a Mexican drug cartel. Now, Clint Eastwood is a great actor and filmmaker. However, I didn't love his last couple outings in Sully and American Sniper, and I didn't see his most, most recent one, The 1517 to Paris. I heard it wasn't that great. But I was really looking forward to this. I thought it looked awesome. And while I didn't love the movie, I really liked it. Clint Eastwood is really solid in this film after staying behind the camera since I believe 2008's Gran Torino. He's kind of an ignorant jerk and not much of a family man, but he's oddly likable, particularly in his more vulnerable moments. Diane Weist, who I'm a big fan of, she's really good in this movie. She was one of the standouts for me as Clint Eastwood's character's ex-wife, and she kills it, particularly in her last couple scenes. Bradley Cooper, Michael Pena, Andy Garcia, and Lawrence Fishburne are all really pretty darn good in the movie, None of them have a whole lot of screen time. The only performance that didn't really work for me was Taysa Farmiga as Clint Eastwood's character's granddaughter. I really liked her in 2015's The Final Girls, but something about her performance in this movie just kind of left me cold. Now, one thing I really enjoyed about this flick is despite its pretty heavy subject matter, it was actually a pretty funny and endearing movie. No, I was not laughing my head off throughout the whole thing, which would have been a disservice to the movie anyway, but I had a few good solid chuckles and one laugh out loud moment where he's talking to the bikers, You'll see. The first trailer I saw for this movie was just one scene from the film where he gets pulled over and it was just super, super tense. But the odd thing is, even though that scene is in the movie, it doesn't feel as tense and the movie never gets to that level of tension at any point. It's tense, but it's not that tense. Now, one sequence that really bugged me about this movie was when he goes off in his first run. They're like, you take this bag and drive and he's just like, okay, no hemming and hawing. It's just like, off I go. It's like, really? And then later on his trip, he pulls over and he unzips the bag and he finds that it's filled with cocaine and he like freaks out. It's like, what did you think you were transporting? You know, you've made the pickup with these big scary dudes with machine guns. What did you think Machine Gun Kelly over here was giving you to transport? A duffel bag full of cookies for his grandma on the other side of the country? That was a little ridiculous to me. Overall though, I really enjoyed The Mule. Is it a top 10 movie of the year? No, not for me, it's not. Do I think it's gonna get a lot of Oscar attention? No, I don't. But it's certainly worth seeing. I think it was a good flick, and as always, I look forward to seeing what Clint Eastwood does next. Now, I don't have a proprietary rating system as of yet, so I'm just trying to figure out what I'm gonna give the mule, and I think I'm gonna give the mule a... Get off my lawn. Out of 10. So now I wanna know, have you seen the mule? What did you think about it? What is your favorite Clint Eastwood performance? or directorial film of all time. Whatever your thoughts, hit the comments below. Let's discuss. If you enjoyed this review, please smash that like button and give it a share if you really enjoyed it. And hey, why not take a second, do me a favor, click subscribe and ring that bell to subscribe to my channel for more movie reviews, entertainment news, trailer reactions, all that good stuff. Thanks very much for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one. Take care.